We've got a market flash on WWE. It's soaring after hours. Let's get to Contessa Brewer in the newsroom with the details. Contessa. Melissa, do you know who Roman Reigns is? Um, no. You're about to. Wow. Because there is a big, <laughs> big deal happening. They have signed, WWE has, e has signed a new deal that is going to bring SmackDown to broadcast Fox Network on Friday nights so that all of America can enjoy it, whether you've cut your cable cord or not. And in after hours trading now, this is up more than 5%, 5.6%. They had also announced that they are extending their deal with USA Network, which is, of course, owned by NBC Universal, Comcast. But the big news here is that it's going to broadcast TV. Roman Reign, is that what you said? Yeah. He also goes up against The Undertaker, by the way. Oh, yeah, I know him. And Ronda Rousey is with yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. I think she needs a special name now, like Ronda Rousinator or something like that. I'm just saying. And also, could you put those lights around me that you just had for the last? <laughs> Did so you like better. our name tags? We'll send you one. <laughs> um, Contessa Brewer, thank you. <laughs> WWE, I like got a trailer. The caretaker. Who yeah. knew I mean, that? We should, we should have WWE up. name tags. Come WWE. up with our own I'll tell you what, there are nights well, on the show I want to take guy off the down. top turnbuckle. I can Do tell you that. Do we have a trade on WWE or no? The stock has been parabolic over thank the last six months. Trades at a crazy valuation, but the shorts have been betting against it now for the last six months unsuccessfully. So until you see a day where it trades four or five times normal volume, which you have not seen, I think the stock continues to go higher from here. All right. Well, WWE isn't the only underdog taking on bigger rivals. Some say bigger is better, but that might not always be the case for the past year for some well-known brands. Let's get to Bob Bassani at the New York Stock Exchange for the details. Hey, Bob. Hello, Melissa. The S&P 500 is up about 11 percent in the last 12 months, but there's plenty of so-called pair trades that have produced some really amazing returns. Now, a pair trade matches a long position with a short position in a pair of highly correlated stocks that are usually in the same sector. And it's true, over the last year, smaller competitors have been beating out their larger rivals in several sectors. So take a look. Shake Shack versus McDonald's. Shake Shack has a market cap 150th of that of McDonald's. But it's been up 90 percent in the last year. McDonald's is basically flat, up just 5 percent. In retail, another example, Etsy has a market cap less than one one hundredth of Amazon. But Etsy's up 175 percent versus 70 percent for Amazon in the last year. Another one, Dunkin' Brands, is 8 percent the size of Starbucks. But it's still outperforming, up 25 percent versus 16 percent for Starbucks. Square is less than one third the size of American Express, but it's been up a whopping 161 percent in the last year versus up 18 percent for American Express. Now, with this kind of outperformance, you might think the shorts have it out for the underperformers. That's not generally the case, or at least not with these pairs. McDonald's and Amazon are not heavily shorted stocks right now. American Express was heavily shorted several years ago, but really is not anymore. Only Starbucks has slowly seen its short interest increase in the last couple of years, but that's not really heavily shorted either. Only three days to cover for the short positions. They are not considered very excessive. Back to you, Melissa. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.